first order of business you got to crack the dew. And then you got to take a sip. I'm Dustin. And I'm Dylan. Welcome to the Country Scroller. Today's episode, as you tell from the title, it says I Puck. Now, uh, you probably don't know what that is unless you follow Steve Good's patterns and all that. Well, I'm just do a review and cut that out for you and I'll show you what it is. So, uh, let's get started. All I need for this project are the pattern supplied by Steve Good. And, uh, we're only going to cut out one, but he puts, uh, quite a few on it. The wood. And some uh, headphones to try it out. And you're a diet dude. Pattern calls for eighth inch thick wood. I uh, don't have any at the moment, so I'm just going to use some quarter inch. And uh, since this is going to be small, I'm just going to use some nice wood like walnut to do it. So I'm going to tack the pattern to the wood, and I'll uh, show you that here in a second. Already we have the eye puck pattern applied to the uh, piece of walnut here. And uh, again, we just use a masking tape to help peel up the pattern. Put the pattern down, then the clear box tape to help lubricate the blade or uh, keep the blade down. So now I'm going to go over to the scroll saw and uh, cut this out. And uh, if you notice, you don't have any entry holes to do, so uh, let's go over to the scroll saw and we'll start cutting it out. I already over hit the scroll saw and we can begin our cuts. We're back here off the scroll so we can go and peel up the pattern. Got the pattern off there and uh, now I'm going to do is just give it a little sanding. Since this is a small piece I'm just going to be using a little block with some sandpaper on it. Just to smooth off any uh, frizzlies or anything like that. Should be good. Now I'm going to uh, give it a clear coat. I'm going to do that to both sides and I'll show you the uh, final product. Alrighty, while I uh, wait for this to dry, I figured I'd show you something. I had uh, just received some more blades from uh, Mike's workshop in the mail today. So I figured I'd open them up and show you guys what comes in it. Uh, if you guys, uh, a lot of you scrollers out there use Flying Dutchman blades, but uh, if you don't, I highly recommend them. And the shipping time is freaking fast. And uh, where are they out of doing? South Dakota. South Dakota. And uh, when you open it up and you dump it out, well, it depends if you ordered a gross or a couple dozen or what, but uh, what I get is a pamphlet and it has different blade sizes and all the kinds of blades they have and then some accessories on the back and then uh, the receipt and all that. And then all I ordered is some. Uh, Ultra Reverse Blades, number 3 and 5, and I use the uh, 3's mainly for uh, portraits and intricate stuff, and then the 5's for like half inch or bigger stuff that I don't need tight turns for. So I just figured I'd show you guys that, and uh, since I'm waiting for the uh, eye puck to dry. So uh, if you're interested in Flying Dutchman, uh, there's a link from uh, Steve Good's website to the Mike's Workshop. Or you can just type it in on Google and you'll find it pretty easily. I uh, highly recommend them. They're good blades and they're uh, pretty sharp. And uh, I haven't broken many of them as I've uh, used them over the uh, course of a couple years. So I uh, highly recommend Flying Dutchman blades. And a uh, thing I like to do is uh, if you don't have the capsules that the blades come in. Like uh, from a, if you order a gross of them or whatever. They come in some the tubes I think. And uh, I just use these uh, the copper tubes and put them into a piece of wood and I just put the label on each one to indicate which one it is. Like I got three, five, and seven, and then five and seven, and then puzzle blades and all that. And then different type of drill bits and whatnot underneath. So that's just a nice little storage place for those. And uh, if you need like a five or something, you just grab one right there or whatever. So... Uh, it's just a little tip on how to store your blades. Already now the eye puck is dry, and what I can do is uh, test it out. And uh, I haven't looked at the picture much, but uh, I'm pretty sure you just uh, 
wind this headphones around the the slots it gives you I guess I don't really know I guess it's sort of like that and then maybe back around the other side and then back around So I don't even know if I'm doing it right, or uh, if that's how they go, but this is just a uh, little unique thing that Steve Good created to uh, keep your headphones organized and so they're not in a tangled mess, but uh, I can see me undoing this and they're still in a tangled mess or something, but uh, it's a nice little uh, gadget thingy that you can make from uh, just a little scrap piece of wood, so uh, it's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching this uh, video of the uh, iPuck. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. But uh, it turned out pretty good. And uh, it's a unique little thing to keep your head from being tangled. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And also, Flying Dutchman Blades. Um, if you don't use them, I highly recommend them. And uh, as you saw how they got them packaged today in this video. And uh, it's... Uh, they're nice blades and the shipping time is pretty fast, uh, like three to five days or something like that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Dustin. And I'm Dylan. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.